Good morning, peep holes. It is Wednesday, after all the confusion we had yesterday. Uh, this morning, I am going to be taking the children with me to work because Gemma has got to have a meeting with the accountant. The accountant! To put to bed last year's accounts, which we really need to sort out because it's doing my fucking head in. So, you come with me, Abigail. You are? That's wonderful. What exactly are you doing in that cupboard, madame? I was finding the set band. Let's have a look at it and put it on. Headband! Can you sing headband like on Pitch Perfect? No. Okay, it's too early. Obviously a little bit too early for Abigail to be uh, super excited about the day. We're going to jump in the car. Dom's already playing a bit of food ball, aren't you bud? Bit of football, show us your tricks. Go on, show us your skills, Dom. Oh, yes, he's lost it. Brilliant. Right, let's go. Look at the white. It looks amazing. All the white walls, white everything. It looks so much brighter, cleaner, exactly what I wanted. So, this morning, I'm going to spend a little bit of time cleaning up in the workshop. Don't know if you can see through there, I'll show you in a minute. Literally everything's just piled, so uh, everything off these shelves is just piled on the workbench. And I'm going to need the workbench, of course, for cutting timber and all that kind of thing to make these shelves for the grain storage. So I'm thinking the top shelf, that can just be general storage for stuff that we very rarely use. And then all the others can be one, two, three, grain storage, and then the bottom deck. So this is the junk that we've just piled, well it's not junk, it's all really good stuff. But it's just stuff that I'm not using very often. Like router bits. Uh, they'll come into their own though when we move into the pub next door. We've got the box for the cold room ready to go with its connectors. That's, uh, that's one of the components that we've got stored. Just all sorts of tools and connectors that I actually never got round to putting in. Uh, so, quick tidy up in here. I might make something for all this cable. I've got a ton of electric cable all here on this table. I might make some kind of uh, holder for it so we can just pull off what we want. And um, while I've got your attention this morning before we shoot on to doing the normal tasks, I just want to touch up on the fact that there's been no video for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, one's gone up this morning, of course, which you've probably seen yesterday. Uh, but over the weekend, Sunday, fair enough, my bad. I was a little bit worse for wear after the gig. But I did film some footage of at home, of me at home with the family. Uh, but it just wasn't conclusive to make a video. And then Monday, it was just admin all day again. And before I knew it, it was sort of half past six. I'd got no footage, I just had my head down. I was putting together work methods manual for the pub and drawing up employment contracts because when we move next door, the staff isn't going to be as casual as it is now. So I want to make sure that we're doing everything by the book. It was also the 200th vlog. So I really wanted to do something special for vlog 200. So I highlight the journey, how far we've come. Uh, because I've saved a copy of each video on my hard drive, so I thought I'd pull it all off. It's a remote hard drive. Uh, so I thought I'd pull all that off, put it onto the PowerDirector editing software, and we'll put a montage together. But it turns out that even 100 megabytes per second is not fast enough uh, to transfer all this data for me to edit. So it literally took me two hours just to get through the first 20 vlogs. Uh, and pick out a few, cherry pick a few good pieces. So at that rate, it's going to take me, you know, approximately 10 hours, 20 hours to get this completed, which I don't really want to spend that much time on it. Um, so we're going to revisit it. There will be a, a 200th vlog, 10 vlogs late, or something like that, if you know what I mean. But at the minute, at the minute, mate, it's a real campaign in the horse. So. That's a sideline. We'll just continue with normal service and we will make shit in the brewery. Not actually shit, I meant things, but you know. So I've got these shelves, it's a three drawer set of shelves, 
what I'm going to do is turn this into my screw and nail storage unit. It's a bit rickety at the moment, the tops are coming off. So I'm just going to support or sort of, uh, not support, I'm going to shore up the bottom of the shelf, just ignore the radio. I'm going to shore up the bottom of the shelf to prevent the weight of the screws pushing the base out. Then screw the front on proper and then we're going to have a mobile screw storage freeing up some shelves in that cupboard over there to allow me to get this crap off the table. That is the plan. Let's get on with it. Shop tidied up. I just thought to myself, I wonder if I can get this old Dyson working again so I can sort of put it on the dust extraction system. Well, all I can say is uh, I'm glad I took it apart before starting to run it because it's breathing fire. You would not believe it. Right, let me plug it in. I was just about to cut the cable off the end and save the cable and then obviously throw the rest of it away. But let me set the camera up. You look down in this hole here and you'll see it's breathing freaking fire. It's breathing fire. Look, let's check this out. You see that? Let's see if we can get any closer. So I don't know what's going on in there, but uh, I'm going to bin it. <laughs> I'm going to cut the cable off. We're going to put it outside. We're going to bin it. Actual sparks flying out. I can only sort of assume that it's obviously the brushes, the windings, there's something either in there or they're worn that far down. It's scraping the springs off the brushes. I don't believe the brushless, well, they're not brushless motors, I can tell. Uh, but yeah, smells like fire in here. It smells like an electrical fire. So I don't want that in this building. I don't want the building to burn down. I've just built a brewery for God's sake. So it's going in the freaking bin. So I'll just give you a quick rundown on what the plan is. 
So we've got this area tidied up nice and clean, all the screws are moved. Just got this little bit for the Dyson to bin. I'm going to make a little rack for the bits of cable that I said earlier on I was going to do. And then out here, we've got space for pretty much six buckets in a row. Three tiers high, so we'll have 18 buckets along there. And then the end, and then in the end, and then on the end, I want to make. And then on the end, I want to mount the grain mill just here, so we can pop a bucket underneath it at the edge of the grain store. And then any grains, any specialty grains that we need to mill, we'll just be able to drop them in, bucket underneath, and uh, away we go. So Stu's just come back from the Amazon rainforest with a little bit of timber for me to build the rack in. We've finished the cable tidy. I think that was pretty good, don't you? So we'll chuck that upstairs in the storeroom. Then we've got all the cables up off the ground, all easily accessible. I've just eaten a Twix. Mm. And uh, yeah, I suppose it's time to start building this rack in and getting these shelves ready to house all the specialty molds. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Right, the entertainment has arrived. So uh, it's time to cease for the day. We've got the grain store up. Let me come back a little bit so we can get it all in. What do you think? I mean, I think it looks pretty snazzaroo. Oh, so we've got. Let's have a beer. Let's have a beer. <laughs> Thumbs up in the comments for up day daytime drinking, folks. <laughs> We're there. We're there. Definitely there. So we've got the grain mill on the end. This is the important thing. So we can just practically throw a bucket under the grain mill. I'll put a stand there at some point and uh, you know mill grain and shit I guess and of course we've also got the old cable tidy stop I'm dead chuffed with that you know I don't know why there's just yeah. something I really like about it so stop calling me old look at that nifty piece of kit game on but other than that I've got to uh, I've got to help Craig upstairs because he can't he can't get in on his own. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna uh what day is it today? Wednesday? I think it fucking is. Wednesday club. It's friggin' Wednesday club. Wednesday wankers. Wednesday wankers for a couple of beers, folks. 
Oh, and I'm still I'm still working on the uh, 200th vlog, which will come probably at 210th vlog. I'll do some more on that tonight. But other than that, we'll see you tomorrow.